Now, from 21 Alive Plus, this is your FastCast. Good morning. We're taking a live look over downtown Fort Wayne. Today is Monday, October 7th, and we want to get a quick check of your weather forecast with meteorologist Liz Braden. Liz, it's a Monday. We're starting a new work week. It's a little bit chilly, but we had a really nice weekend. We hit the 80s again. Yeah, 81 yesterday, and a... Uh, now Not we've almost cut that in half for our wake up temperature this morning. I mean, what a delight. It, isn't that just Indiana <laughs> and Ohio this time of year? Yeah, Classic. it's more more ups and downs to go. This morning, temperatures across the Midwest are in the 40s and 50s. But tomorrow morning, instead of 40s and 50s, I'm expecting 30s and 40s. So it is going to get Oof. really cool. Yeah. I know, 43 <laughs> here in Fort Wayne to start things out. The lowest we've gotten to is 41 degrees in Paulding right now this morning. We're still holding on 50s in a few spots. As for tomorrow morning, that's when the drop starts to set in. Highs today get up to 68 degrees. We have some bright sunshine in store. Here's a look at future track as we go from 60s today back to the 40s tonight. Past midnight, we're already in the 40s. So it's a quicker cool down compared to what we've seen the past few nights. Once we start getting closer to about 4 a.m., temperatures down to the south are making it into the upper 30s in a few spots. Now, for upper 30s, I'm not expecting that to be long-lasting all night long. The places that reach the upper 30s will likely hold on to it for about three to four hours at max. And the water itself, our dew points are a little bit lower. So I think it's possible we could have some isolated frost for early tomorrow morning. But I'm not expecting anything widespread, and I'm not expecting this to be a hard freeze or a big crop killer. Nonetheless, especially this week, Jess, it's a really great opportunity for farmers to harvest, not only with the cooler temperatures, with this being usually our first week where we usually see the average frost in our area, but also the fact that it's sunny and dry. So it's really going to lend a great opportunity for any outdoor activities. Okay, not too bad. I guess I'm excited for our seven day. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be here, but I'm excited <laughs> for it. <laughs> 60s and 70s aren't too bad. Yeah. All right, Liz, thanks so much. Um, continuing our weather coverage here, we're talking about the hurricane that's set to hit Florida again this week. They're starting what could be their largest evacuation effort since 2017. Floridians are bracing for the second major hurricane in less than two weeks. It's Hurricane Milton, and they predict it will make landfall on Wednesday and then plow across most of the state. So uh, officials are issuing both mandatory and voluntary evacuation orders for those at-risk areas. The National Hurricane Center warns flooding could threaten millions of people in Florida, and it could be dangerous with the timing since the ground is already saturated in some areas from Hurricane Helene. So keep those people in your thoughts and prayers as we head into this week. Definitely a scary situation unfolding down there in Florida this week. Okay, today, October 7th, marks the one-year anniversary of the Hamas attack on Israel. People around the world are honoring the 1,200 people that were killed that day. That includes vigils um, yesterday in Tel Aviv, Berlin, London, Paris. The Palestinian Ministry of Health says Israeli attacks over the past year have killed more than 41,000 people in Gaza, mostly women and children. And the war has displaced nearly the entire Gaza population. So definitely a somber day as we remember that one year anniversary. And finally from us this morning, just a reminder, today's the last day you can register to vote for the upcoming general election. If you're here in Allen County, you can do it in person at the Rousseau Center on Main Street, downtown Fort Wayne, or you can do it online. It's really quick and easy. If you have questions about registration and polling locations, you can check out the website, indianavoters.in.gov. I have it right there on your screen. And then early voting begins tomorrow. So if you haven't gotten registered to vote, Make sure you do that before the end of the day today. All right, well, that's all from us today. I'm just going to leave us right there on a live look over downtown Fort Wayne as we kick off our Monday morning. We're back here again tomorrow. We hope you guys have a great day.